Okay, Dennis with House of Arms. We're uh, on our last section here, which is section C, which is the conclusion of our test with the 300 uh, blackout. I want to go through some of the parts that we used and, and kind of give my opinion on them. Um, the first one that I want to go through is this MGM barrel. Uh, this was a 16 and a quarter inch stainless steel MGM barrel. Uh, had a one and eight twist. Uh, very good quality barrel. Uh, I've got other barrels that are custom barrels and this is, this is just as good as any of them. Uh, I, I put it right at, at the top with the rest of them. Um, we also had um, our scopes, which was, this was the four power uh, pistol scope. That was the uh, Leopold. This was the 3.9 uh, Leopold scope. Um, and then we had the uh, crusher grip loop. Um, and that, uh, let me show you the, again how, how we could use this. Uh, we can grip it like this. That's one way with when you grab it like a rifle and you grip the front end too. Uh, the fore end. Uh, you could grip it like this and then this was the way that Marty and Justin were using it. They were using it to lock it like this and then you could also use it like this. And this was what was real impressive about this test. Um, I had no idea that I was going to get the groups that I did and I'm going to show you here in a minute with this grip. Um, and then the last thing I want to show you and then I'm going to go back to the barrel is the receiver. And something that I didn't mention in my other videos, this uh, receiver I had a trigger job done on. Uh, when I ordered it, uh, I got a text from Eric wanting to know what poundage I want on this, and I told him that I wanted it at two pounds, which I think is what my other two receivers are, is at two pounds, which at two pounds, whenever you're ready to pull the trigger, all you do is lay your finger on it and start pulling, and it's gone. I've got other um, guns that I've had that I have rifles that have seven-pound triggers, and you can miss deers or coyotes with that big of a pound. So um, that has two pounds, and I'm sorry, Eric, I didn't mention that sooner, but that really makes a difference for having that receiver like that. Um, let's go through, um, the, I want to go through this barrel again before I get to the results. Um, every barrel, for those of you that have done a lot of shooting, know that some barrels have what they call sweet spots, um, where you find a load that the barrel really likes. Um, and, and I think I found some pretty good loads that shoot out of this barrel. When you're shooting half inch or less out of a barrel, that's, that's pretty close to being the sweet spot. And, uh, and something else too that I wanna bring up, when you have a pistol barrel, which this is basically considered a pistol barrel because you know it's only 16 inches long, it's not 24 like normal rifle barrels. When you have that short of a barrel, you have to remember that you have to have a fast burning powder or you're gonna lose a lot of speed. Um, a lot of people like getting pistol barrels and then you'll get it in like a 30-06 or a 308 well, for every inch that you lose, if you're 24 inches and you're down to 16, you've lost eight inches. Well, the, the rule of thumb is you lose, lose 50 feet per second for every inch. So you're losing 400 feet per second by losing eight inches of barrel. So if you want the speed, you have to remember if you're gonna have a shorter barrel that you're gonna have to have either a fast burning powder or a pistol powder in that barrel, which this has basically a pistol powder, which is the H110. So very good barrel though. MGM did a real good job on that one. Okay, uh, here was the results of, of the rifle and the crusher grip. Um, on the rifle, uh, you know, you shoot 110s or 168s out of it. This is a real good group, 0.54 or 0.43. Um, that's, that's normal for me for rifle groups. And those, these are both three inch groups. Um, and, and if something that's interesting, if you look at the crusher grip, as the bullets got bigger, the groups got bigger, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.9. So I don't know if that's something that, but I couldn't get the two 208s to group any tighter than that 0.9. Um, but, you know, but this crusher grip really impressed me because I'm shooting less than one inch groups out of all of them at, at 100 yards, which, which was real impressive, I thought. And... Uh, I want to thank House of Arms for the quality work that they do uh, in getting, getting parts and pieces because where else can you get, I can't, no, no place else that I know of, can you get something like that or the hog leg, which is basically what that is but with a different barrel. Uh, it's got the crusher grip. Um, I mean, just awesome products with House of Arms. And like I said, I, I didn't mention that trigger job, which that makes a big difference in your accuracy. So thank you.